Hello and welcome back to Shelf Center. This is Bryce. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If this is something you end up enjoying, you never know, it could happen. Anyway, this is our top shelf news for the week. That's the best in books and media as far as they relate to fantasy, science fiction, and sometimes horror. And you know what? We got some good stuff this week. Not a ton, but that's why I'm introducing a new segment. Figured this would be a good time for a new segment that I'm adding to the end. So you'll have to wait for it or check out the timestamp in the <laughs> description below because we're starting a new segment and it's called Fantasy Meme Review, at least title pending. So first things first, the books. Let's talk about the books. A cover reveal from Ryan Cahill. He's been making the rounds. Mike's book reviews especially has been a huge fan of this series, The Bound and the Broken. So this is book four, has got a cover now. I think it looks really cool, it's really sharp. It's along the same lines as the other books, which I just think look really cool and they've looked really cool on people's shelves. This is definitely a series I've had my eye on, so I'm watching it, but this one is of Empires and Dust. So check that one out, it's coming out soon here. We got ourselves a cover here. And we've got a Kickstarter for a book that I'm interested in. I actually recently purchased the audio book. This was off of Matt's Fantasy Book Reviews recommendation for Dungeon Crawler Carl. These are going to get some nice hard covers. They're looking really sweet. So anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there. I am very much looking forward to reading this, especially with the stamp of approval of people that I trust. That's always going to get them just up and up on, the, on my list, getting me ready to read them. But anyway, uh, you know, check it out. It just barely kind of started here. Speaking of Kickstarters, Will White, as we talked about last news segment, has reached the million dollar mark on the Kickstarter for the Cradle books four through six. They're uh, also including books one through three, and they're in the faux leather, leather really nice editions. I couldn't help myself. I jumped on it. I, you know, part was like, I want to help get a map, right? So I definitely have. Uh, my copy's coming here soon whenever they drop, which is not really super soon, but it's soon enough, you know. It's a Kickstarter. They've, they've been shown to work out. I have some more uh, Will White news, but I'm going to get to that when we get to the media. There's a brief media segment here <laughs> this time around. But first of all, The Name of the Wind, The King Killer Chronicles, I guess in general, The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear, they're getting new special editions from Gollings. And there's only a thousand copies each. They look fine they look good i i can't say i can't say i don't like them but at the same time i'm like man if there's any series that has just been milked let's let's do a new cover because we don't have any new books so let's do a new cover let's just do that again because the fans will buy up the new cover are you kidding me i just i get frustrated at this point where it's like maybe like hey let's all just boycott for just a little bit till we get a do we get an actual book? Let's let's make him hungry again. Maybe that's what he needs to help him. It's all just out of help. All of this assistance, you know, let's help him out. That's all I'm saying. So that's all I have for the book news. I just uh, wanted to kind of brief, briefly uh, touch on some, some news here this week. Uh, next thing is the medias. Really, I just have one thing. It's actually another Kickstarter. I almost jumped into it already. But what the Kickstarter is, is we've got, I was first introduced to it by Michael J. Sullivan, uh, kind of announcing it. There's a Kickstarter. He's, he's no noob to Kickstarters. He's been doing Kickstarters for his books for ages. Uh, but this is one that's actually about him. It's a film about independent book creators like Michael J. Sullivan. And if you didn't already know, Michael J. Sullivan actually started by self-publishing his books, his Raira Revelations. They ended up doing really well self-publishing wise, then got picked up by Orbit. Then he's kind of been, he was kind of back and forth there. He was with Orbit, stuck by him. But then I think just realized, hey, he does way better, at least financially, just independently doing these, hence why he knows Kickstarter so well. Here just a couple of the books that I have. You can actually see some more up there. There's Persepolis. Uh, anyway, that I have because I got all of these when they were coming out in self-published form. So anyway, there's a, a, a film going through independently published authors uh, like Michael J. Sullivan, Will White, as I mentioned before, um, Delamock, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Daniel Green, Emma Wong, like it's pretty cool. Like I think it sounds really cool. So anyway, just wanted to give a shout out on that. I thought that was really cool news. Like 
it is this like phenomenon that can only happen these days because of really like Amazon, right? And it's just created what I've been, you know, a big proponent of for ages is this amazing time that we're in that, that we get even whole new genres like lit RPG, which is just so much fun. You can read a dungeon crawler and, you know, and it's not just fan fiction, not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, it's published books that are just awesome like the cradle series it's so much fun and it's like playing a video game but reading it so i just love that there's all these things that are that are happening now i i don't um like sword of kaigen by ml wong is just such one of my favorite independently published books and also favorite standalone books <laughs> and just books in general <laughs> it's such a good book uh, I'm just so glad we have it because of self-publishing, independent publishing. So anyway, I think it's a pretty cool project. I didn't realize, I thought when I first heard it that it was just going to be Michael J. Sullivan, but apparently it's got this huge list, uh, and I think it's just awesome. All right, finally getting into our last segment. This is meme review, fantasy meme review. Uh, I thought it would be fun <laughs> to do this. I don't know. It's silly, but uh, it, you know, you know, I, I might have seen this somewhere else before, but not with this kind of focus. So, and I've found, so if you aren't already on my Discord, I do have a Discord. You can check the link below. It's on Matt's Fantasy Book Reviews Discord, and I have uh, one of the channels that's kind of dedicated to me uh, and my channel, and, and so my, you know, my audience here. And, and so uh, one of my channels under my channel is, I just like, I love memes, I love jokes. I am a unique person who loves jokes, yes. That's me, I'm the only one that does. I love jokes, but I love just like, you know, a place where we can just, people can share. So I might even pull from there. Uh, these I actually haven't. They're ones I have yet to share with the Discord, so I may have to still, uh, but I, I'll definitely probably be pulling from there uh, in the future as well. So if you have any more to add, definitely add some if you want me to address them here. I essentially do the PewDiePie homage, except for just as they relate to fantasy, science fiction, and horror memes, which there's plenty. I mean, you could go down a rabbit hole and start Star Wars alone, which I'll try not to get too crazy with, but maybe I will. I don't know. Anyway, first things first is a Lord of the Rings one. What better than a Lord of the Rings meme to start us off with meme review, fantasy meme review, okay? FMR. So the first one, <laughs> no, 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 dwarves are art deco, elves are art nouveau. I mean, that's pretty true. It's funny that that is the case. It's definitely where those were pulled from. Um, I don't know, just seemingly at least. Uh, I don't know if this is more relating to the movies, but I'm, I see it all through the books, and I know, uh, you know, the runic script is very much like Art Deco, I guess, and then uh, the Art Nouveau from the elves is definitely more lyrical, I don't know, more curvy? Is that the right word? What's the word? You know, this is, it's pretty true. It's, a, it's kind of true, but also it's like, it's kind of like a, Mid, mid tier chuckle. It's not like I'm dying laughing on this. So, you know, I don't know what I'm rating these on. Um, so, it's going to be right in the middle. We're going to go five out of 10 shelves for that one. That's a five out of 10 shelves for, you know, it's kind of stating an actual true thing that happens to be kind of humorous. Apparently, most of what I have is Lord of the Rings inspired because it's another one Lord of the Rings. <laughs> your phone with 1% battery. I know your face. <laughs> okay. That's that's good. And the best part is it got a good chuckle for my son. So that was, uh, you know, it broke his austere temperament. Just kidding. He loves a good, a good laugh too. Uh, but uh, it's a good one. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm chuckling on it. So it's definitely better than the Art Deco, Art Nouveau one. So I'm going to go, I'm going to have to give this, uh, you know, what seven out of ten seven out of ten in this arbitrary uh system of rating memes i signed up for this for some reason and now i gotta commit to the stupid thing all right then finally i said i'd try to not go all star wars that's why it's just one um we're gonna we'll have more of these i just wanted to introduce the segment here uh this i thought was hilarious though it's princess bride which is one of my favorite things one of my favorite movies and books of all time and then Star Wars, combining the two, the Princess Bride quotes, but as Star Wars from a Star Wars perspective. Hello, my name is Luke Skywalker. You killed my father, prepare to die. All right, that's the most basic one, but they get funnier. Bye boys, have fun storming the Death Star. 
Why can't I see? You've been mostly frozen all day. I mean, the whole thing, it's so good. I, I love it. Um, I don't know, I was trying to think like, would this be doable to be like, to do the, the Princess Bride in Star Wars? I'd love to see it attempted. Uh, and maybe the best one is the Mowage, the, the Mowage one. I mean, there you go, I'll let you, I don't need to read them all. I, that's a pretty solid like combination of two of my favorite things. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. That's going pretty high for, uh, for a rating here, but two of my favorite things, quotes that I love, remembering them, and I chuckled at, I think all of them. So anyway, that's a lot of chuckling. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's been the news this week with the new segment, because uh, it was a little bit of a slow news week, so I'm sorry about that, but those were, that was the news to me. Uh, in fantasy, science fiction, sometimes horror. Uh, don't forget to check out. There's always links down below as to the, the deals that I find on Kindle eBooks. So check those out and let me know if you if I missed any. And thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for liking and subscribing and we'll catch you later. Bye.